Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to TNO, the Thousand Week Reich mod, in which we were playing as that beautiful Republic of China last time. We basically regained what was part of the northern border of the Republic of China, but we got a couple comments to go through. But I think next up, we should, might want to go to a place that might be a little bit of fun down uh, south. So in about 50 days, we're going to rightfully restore some Chinese territory. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're going to have a good time where we're going. Let's see. And that was pretty good. A little bit of lag here and there. We've got a couple comments to go through. Uh, let's see. You guys can probably do that pretty darn easily. Just in case. Let's grab some infrastructure up here in Qingxi. That'd be pretty good to do that, first of all. Uh, first of all, someone said I should make a wood conquest out of this mod. I'd like to. That'd be kind of difficult. But I can't, like, just manually justify on people. Because it's a game rule. Maybe I might be able to actually turn that game rule off in the next campaign. I might do that in the next campaign. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. I guess they're led by Rab Butler, though, for the UK. Hmm. Very aggressive. He's conservative, even though they have a massive social democrat party ideology group here. Okay, whatever. Memories of Dunkirk, huh? Hmm. Another comment from yesterday saying, I should go to war with the Russian Republic and take him out. Well, currently, can't quite do that. Kind of sucks, but I can't do that. That'd be really cool. I'd like to get this area back in Vladivostok and Khabarovsk. I forget what the name is originally supposed to be up here, but I I hope we can do that someday. I doubt we can, but you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, we will liberate the Nanjing Pact, and we have the Nanjing Years. Invade Laos. We can do that at the same time, huh? China invaded, invades Laos. Very cool. Uh, let's see. What are we doing next? Keep going down this way. Yeah. Dynastic po uh, politics. Growth above principles. Uh, I mean, we could. We could do that. Let's do dynastic politics. Chiang has asserted his family as the most powerful in China, yet now we must go a step further. A new political dynasty will be created to pass on power to trusted family members and maintain stability for the future. Chiang Kai-shek's son, Chiang Ching Kuo, will be trained for a future position of great power. Cool. Another comment, I think, from yesterday was that I should take over all, pretty much all over Southeast Asia. That's my goal. Hope we can do that. Hope we can go to invade Siam. That'd be great. There goes Cheetah. And, of course, get back... Ooh. Liberate Macau. Eh, actually, might not be a bad idea. Since we have our political power now, though, how about we create the Nanjing Pact? Stability War Sport. That'd be pretty cool. Let's go do that. We must expand our fight. As more and more of the world relegates itself onto the different factions and alliances, it seems as though the KMT wants to throw in its own hat onto the stage of global politics. Whether or not the pact will succeed in its mission is yet to be seen. Uh, there might be a way for us to go to war with India, maybe. We'll have some sort of border conflict, potentially. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, I hope so. That sounds like a lot of fun. Huang Ji falls ill, so be it. We're going to look like we need a lot more anti-tank. Anti-tank, artillery, support equipment. So not guns. Everything but guns. Somebody get some guns. But we're going to need a lot more of this stuff. A lot more of this stuff. Quite a bit more of this stuff as well. So, yeah. It's going to be a while before we get all that stuff done. But we're building up our infrastructure and industry. So, that'll be good. That'd be we are so weakened here that we're not really affected by infrastructure. Cool. How is how strong is Tibet? Tibetan sovereignty enforced. Well, we'll see about that. Tibetan trade missions. We'll see about that. A looming crisis. You bet there's a looming crisis. Minus one percent stability every week. Good for them. Patton elected as president. Okay, Tibetan army. Cool. Patton has won. Having unexpectedly stolen the Republican nomination from MacArthur, he is now in the presidency and will be inaugurated officially in January. That is peculiar. Cool. Very cool. Now it looks like we can probably just move straight on in, right? Yeah, looks like it. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I need to go to Lhasa. Is that Hasa? Lhasa? Go right ahead, see what you can do. We might use Scavenger, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Not too concerned, though, about it, obviously. Do they not even have a div... They have one of three divisions. We could call on our puppet. Um, where are their divisions? Are they, like, volunteers someone else? Oh, we can invade... Hold on, let's see. T Tibet? T -t Tibet? Rightful Chinese land. What is a Tibet? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that was, oh, okay. We do eventually get to invite Pakistan. Okay, that's kind of cool. We can invite Laos. Oh, we invaded Laos. We can invite Cambodia. We can invite Thailand and Pakistan. Hopefully, if they say no, we can invade them. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Burma. 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 That's a lot of manpower. Not a lot of divisions, though. I'm thinking... I want some Burmese food eventually. So we might save ourselves up and uh, maybe have a good time with them. How about that? Let's go and grab you guys. I know it's probably really bad infrastructure down here, but that's okay. 
That is totally okay. Let's go ahead and move this all the way to the bottom since we don't need it now. And over here, uh, we might consider getting more infrastructure, but maybe not. Dynastic politics are pretty good. Let's see. Anywhere else we can build ourselves up. 50% ain't bad. Beijing, eh, at least get one more, I suppose. Now we shall do grow up above principles. With stability restored, the days of political principles are really over. The political process of restoring China to its rightful place have mostly run their course. Now the time has come to expand China by non-political means. Economic growth will be sought after and foremost and above all political considerations to bring strength to the Chinese nation and prosperity to its people. Good. Oh, we can liberate these places already. Oh, let's go and secure Burma. Uh, Burma. 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 Now I might release him as a puppet. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. There's no guarantee, right? And then I might just go ahead and go to more partial mobilization when we get enough political power next. We're gonna get 1.43 day. Eastern Europe is looking okay. Uh, Germany's still looking nice and thick. The Bel Belarusian Socialist Republic is over here. And did Italy lose last time? Yes, they did lose. And now they're in the Tanto Accords. That's kind of sad. Kingdom of Tunisia, huh? Single receiver action. That's cool. Get some sheet metal receivers. Unless there's something else we can do over here in 56. Actually, yes. Grab some more construction, that'd be good. And no, less than 90 days, faster civilian factory construction speed as well as infrastructure uh, construction speed. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Promises of peace. Yeah, I don't know if we believe in that. Liberate Macau, I would love to do that. We could invite these guys already. I want to get at least to the next level of mobilization first, though. How many divisions do these guys have? How many guns do we need? Well, what, what do we need? We got plenty of guns. Anti-tank is looking a lot better. We had like a deficit of like 3,700 or something. That's looking so much better. Um, America. I know you have a new leader and all. Oh, you will have one new leader. But, oh, anti-German coalition up there. Uh, really? I mean, I guess you're here to stamp out all fascism in the world, but... The German Congress begins, a new red state. That's kind of cool. At least something's going on in Germany. Hopefully they'll have some stuff to do. But... America? How, do you have paratroopers or something? Because you don't border them. Always an eternal war with the Americans, I guess. German Politburo. Very cool. Leftovers, huh? Not good for stability. Austrian problem? Huh. Protecting the proletariat's kind of okay. Not great. And enforced reconstruction. Mm, that's not terrible. Workers and militias. Fanatical revolts. Good for them. Good, good, good for them. Yeah, we'll definitely have to invite Pakistan so we can contest India. How much longer must we wait before we go to war? Oh, less than two weeks. That'd be great. How strong are they? Oh, God. Yeah, they're going to be a pushover. If we get the option to, I might make these into a puppet. These guys. Burma. But, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, do we have any extra planes around? No. Uh... We got extra ships. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we do some extra planes. Nice. Y'all come... All y'all come down here. But half you guys go right there. That'd be good to do. Go to Burma. Muke Milky elected in Germany. Huh. And Patton has been inaugurated. Well, good job, Patton. You actually might go to war with us, maybe? Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Carrier fighters. Well, we'll see what happens. Drop tanks. We could do that. Let's come back over here. And let's do mass production, cap, output. Let's get some more get some more output. I like that a little bit more. Mass production one would be pretty darn nice. Wartime fighters. Let's get some better fighters. And we're going to war with Burma. The border must be secured. The fighter ones, that's good. I mean I guess eventually we're gonna have to make some casts, right? So we have cast one. Let's from it there. Cast C V. You know, if we find some extra factories laying around, I guess we could. Do that for now, so we I can at least make one of these at a time. That'd be kind of ideal. That'd be good, good, good. We have gone to war. We have found some enemy divisions, which their militia division. Oh, that's so sad. That's so weak. How many? How many guys are there? Not that many, but oh my goodness. You know, if no one wants to stop us. Great. 15, 15, 7. Nice. And we got even less consumer goods factors. We lost 15% stability, which is not great, but you know that's okay. That's totally okay with me. Let's go ahead and do some of the currency problems. Ooh. Government intervention. What we're going to do is do Dong Bai Steel first. I think that'd be kind of good. Yeah, let's do that one first. Dong Bai, the Northeast, the heart of our industry, and the sole cause of our victory in the Civil War. Just as 
fl victory flowed from her holding uh, Ch Chang Chun. So too shall our modern victory flow from the belts and assembly lines of Jilin and Heilong Jiang. And the steel heart of China will be afforded plenty of lifeblood to fulfill its purpose. Our production companies have offered to expand their operations in the region and even collaborate to fulfill complex industrial demands. There are proposals of mass industrial zones set up to appease the foreign imperialist companies and plenty of money to move this proposal into motion. Happy 57, my friends. New year, new us. We're going to do a pretty great job, I hope. Even though it doesn't look like it up there, that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay because we're still moving in. So, And that's what matters. Oh, do you have an upgrade? Or... Uh, or skills, traits, anything, anyone? And you guys are kind of hanging out. Come over here. That'd be good. Hey, look. A little bit more resistance, finally. With you guys, I'm going to have you guys go there. Just so we can take this area over. Get rid of these guys. A little bit of a struggle doesn't hurt. It does not hurt at all. They have five to nine divisions. That's fine. Yeah, that militia. Oh, my goodness. 32, 31. 75% strength. Not bad. Not bad, my friends. You guys are moving in. I love it. Move in. Move in if you can. Do the best you can. Go right there. Cut these guys off. These guys. Help. They're, they're, they're 17 combat width. We didn't give them enough artillery yet. By the time we're done, though, they're going to have a lot of artillery. They're going to have a buttload of artillery. They're going to have too much artillery. But we'll start throwing artillery on the garrisons. Maybe. By the time we're done here. Even though it's not going as well as I'd hope it, hope it would, we're not doing bad. Militia divisions, yeah, I don't know. They're not that strong. That's why I never like using militia divisions, because I don't know. How, how big is that division? It is... Okay, so it's one to three militia divisions. No wonder they're dying so quickly, and we can beat them over a river at only half strength. So, that makes sense. Go and grab the port if you can. Uh, where is their capital? Oh, that Rangoon is their capital. Cool. Very good. Get down there if you can. Cut them off if you can. That'd be great. Mandalay. Very cool. Got plenty of army XP, though. That's nice. And we cut those guys off, and we destroyed the division up there, even though we're suffering probably quite a bit of resistance. We've only lost 300 guys versus 11,000, so oh, still not bad, especially for an army like ours, which is not superb, I will say. It's not bad. It's just not superb. Oh, this militia division. One to four militia battalions in there. That is so sad. I'm glad I'm not Burma. Cool. We got some more done. Great. Uh, 30%. Uh, 40%. Ooh. I'm going to save some of the coast for later. But, let's see. Anywhere else. Taiwan. We could build in Taiwan. Uh, you know, let's build in Taiwan. Maybe they'll like us a little bit more over there. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, Mandalay is now the capital. Cool. We must have taken Rangoon. Very nice, very nice. Construction 1. Go ahead and just get all the way down here if you can. That'd be great. Alrighty. Tidy. Good, good, good. Excavation might be pretty good to do. Let's do some industry. Factory repair speed. Uh, factory repair and factory repair speed is pretty good to get. And then we'll probably go for dispersed. Max factories in a state plus 10%. Max uh, vulner vulnerability. Hmm. For improving decentralization. Core industrial areas. We might do concentrated industry. I don't forget. I don't forget. What should I normally do? Dispersed or concentrated? It doesn't matter to me. I mean, we're going to take them over anyway, so... They're, they really don't have a lot of uh, resources there in Burma. Not gonna lie. Not a lot of resources. But they're under us nonetheless. Fate of Burma. Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's next do... Ooh, probably Laos. I like Laos. But, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can invite Thailand in. Let's see what we can do. The Thai government accepts. The Thai government has accepted our invitation greeting to join the Nanjing Pact. With their entry, China's influence in the world stage shall grow even larger. Together we stand. Path. Oh, wow. We can completely surround... Oh, that's so... That that would be terrifying. Holy cow. You guys come right here. All you have to do is cut these guys off in the south. And that would be... Perfect. Oh, let's do this one too. Uh, where is... Burma. Burma. So, the fate of Burma. The territory of Burma has been seized by forces and the Burmese government, government overthrown. What should we do with this country now that we occupy it? A loyal regime. Divide Burma into two. Ooh. Continue direct... I kind of like direct occupation because we can probably actually afford it. But I suppose we can install a loyal regime for now. This way we don't have to really deal with it. That'll be okay. I think we got enough Dong by Steel. Cool. State of Burma. And you know what? We took them over because they didn't They didn't ask us if they could use our designs for our flag. It's so similar that we had to take them out, you know? Great power designs. Cooperation is good. International trade. I'm helping them. They might have a lot of commies down there. Or socialists. 
Well, we'll take them out eventually. State-sponsored factories. Yeah, why not? State-owned enterprises, as they're known in the West, are an idea that is foreign to China. Although the state partakes heavily in fiscal policy, industrial output is far more left to the devices of the free market and the Chinese arbiters who shape it. However, pressure from Western financial agencies and limited financial resources have pushed some industrial firms to come to us with a proposal. The state-owned factory model, which is certainly not a copy of the cooperative models in operation in the board of a communist movement, will ensure that the state can direct facilities, outputs, and certain key industries with the companies taking the proverbial backseat. Administration of these factories will also allow us to uh, play a leading role in certain parts of these enterprises, with certain resulting political benefits. Oh, I like benefits. Benefits sound nice. Oh, let's go and redo this line again. That's fine. There you go. And this way we don't have to garrison their stuff. I mean, we could just take it over. I mean, China has the potential just to take everything in the world over. And we can always annex these guys later if we really wanted to. Structured bureaucracy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Keep doing your stuff, guys. Make yourself stronger. More political power? Great. Ideology drift defense. That's good to have now since we already converted you. Great. Insured rule? Awesome. Actually, from you guys. I can request garrison support. But as China... I think we'll be good on gears and support. Oh, we got enough anti-tank, though. That's good. Support equipment, artillery. And maybe some tanks. Especially main battle tanks, which we're already making. So, uh, Let's see. Fighters we could use more of. If that's the case, go down to five. Or lower at least it by five. At, at this point, combine you guys right there. That's fine. Everyone's here. And you're going to hold. So you guys are fighters. One, two. Go right there. My bad. The time going just a little bit more. One, two. Come up there. And do that too. There you go. Infantry has been taken care of. And now we have a, a destroyer. Another destroyer. Go ahead and do that if you need to. That'd be fine with me. Uh, if you need a train, go ahead. That's fine with me as well. Alright. Ready to go, Laos. Ready to go whenever you are. Oh, wait. We, we can't invade Laos anymore. Has an answer expansion of skulls. Man, 1.17 is really not good. We need more stability. Holy cow. No, we're not losing anymore. And boy, it... It is... Holy... If you look at the time. Holy cow, that is slow. What is going on? Uh, I guess my name is Big Chungus says hi. Hello there. Wow, that is slow. That is incredibly slow. What is going on? But, well, uh, in the meantime. Let us look at our armaments. 1,000 not... We got a lot of guns. We got plenty of motorized as well. Light tanks, of course. Well, you know what? We can probably edit that now. Yeah, let's make sure your main battle tanks. There you go. Now we need less light tanks. There you go. Well, maybe, maybe not. Tank-wise, we got plus two. Not bad. Replace you. Remove. Remove. And then we'll replace you guys with APCs. That'll be nice. APCs are the future. The Russian Republic declared one of the Altai People's Republic. Very nice. Oh, motorized recon. Hmm. Support artillery might be pretty good. Maintenance companies. Yeah, we gotta get some maintenance companies on those guys. That's pretty darn important. What else we got here? Uh, we can't do that one, obviously. Research extraction, military factory construction speed. We're doing that already, so we might as well. What else have we got? Maintenance companies, yeah. Hmm. Over here. Hmm, throw another APC because we can. Cool. And how are the horses doing? Uh, they're 12 combat width. That's really not ideal. I think at this point, I'm just going to convert this to something else if we can. State sponsored factories out. Great. The Guizhou Guangxi Railway. Long railway. Railway. Invest in heavy industry. This seems like we're just going to help us build our industry up quite a bit. Oh, it helps alleviate any poverty. Construction speed, factory output. Let's do all this as fast as we can, and then we'll come to this side, the currency problem. Let's go with the Guizhou Guangxi Railway. In the Chongqing era, the rail line, the Guangxi, was not just an ordinary transport artil artery. It was the lifeline of the Republic itself, and the lives of millions rode on its operation. Alas, the state has allowed the rest of the railway too to go to, uh, <clears throat> pot, to put it bluntly. The long project of restoring this rail line has been chaotic and filled with corruption, and that such more than five years ago, five years? Of work has resulted in negligible process. This is a travesty to the nation, an embarrassment to the government, and just cause for the firing of the commission in its entirety. Unfortunately, the replacement of one commis commissioner alone will not quite do the job. Uh, but, for now, a direct state-managed project will require time, treasure, 
massive, massive amounts of bureaucracy. Well, we'll see about what we can do. Let's get rid of you, though. Very nice. Very, very nice. Artillery. Man, we need so many big guns. Actually, well, why don't we hurt ourselves now with it? Because we can. We might as well. Initiative not looking bad. Oh, and I'll, we'll probably get rid of the military police as well. A military police is not bad. It gives you quite a bit more defense. A little more breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack. But I prefer artillery there. I think that's just a little bit better in my mind. Just a little bit better. Actually, what are we doing down here? Carrier holes. Hopefully, we can make those. Uh, that's not bad. If we can get three to four lines of this stuff going at the same time, then I'll probably choose. Oh, let's go, let's go ahead and do Laos. Um, I'll probably start making some dockyards because we want to actually build a navy up. That'll be good. Liberate Macau. Invite Cambodia. You know what? We might as well invite Cambodia and see what happens. They refuse. The Cambodian government has generally declined an invitation, citing multiple excuses in an attempt to justify their refusal. How dare you? Oh my goodness. And it's 657 still. Radar, not bad. Land doctrine, we've done not at all. Uh, we can do stuff over there, but not going to yet. 50, 54. Let's get some sheet metal receivers to get more soft attack and breakthrough. Now, they refuse. I should get the option to invade them. Why can't I invade them? Guns from the USA. Great power designs, reform military structure, lightning warfare. And then European armor. Why can't I go to war with them? Oh, we need more support equipment. That's right. Yeah. Oh, boy. We need a lot more. We need a lot more. Holy crap. Uh, do the five for now. How about the artillery for now? That'd be fine. How's this looking? Not bad, so pretty darn good. Pretty darn awesome. And we're halfway done getting the railway done. Awesome. Yeah, India's looking a little bit stronger, and they do have a unique focus tree, so I wonder if they have the option to go to war with me. So they did go with the guy on the far right here, Desai. Go to Indian Industries, the Free Market of India, work with the Tibetan Monarchs. Yeah, nah. Detente with Pakistan, the Democratic Indian Union, cooperation with the Bengal. A tourism hub, show off our culture, become the entertainment capital of Asia. That sounds like a lot of fun. Rebalance the casts. Sounds like a lot of fun, too. I don't see anything about going to war, though. I mean, they have it down here, but I don't think they can go down this path. It's always false. Um, yeah, I don't think they can go to war. They just want to do, like, business stuff. That's not cool. That's not cool. But let's go ahead and invite Pakistan and see what they say. Hopefully they say yes so that we have an ally on the other side of India. And they accept, of course. The government accepted our invitation, agreeing to join the Nanjing Pact with their entry. China's influence on the world stage shall grow even larger. Together, we shall stand. Now, I doubt Pakistan has a unique focus tree, but hopefully they have a decision. He's got a nice hat. Uh, that we... Or they can go to war, so we can go to war with India. That's a really cool hat. Abdul? Mr. Khan. Abdul Khan. Now, let's take a good look at our faction size. Not bad. Oh, the Democratic Indian Union. Oh. Well, you're in it by yourself, basically. Nice, we got the railway done. Time to do the Longhai Railway. The Gansu Qinghai Xinjiang Triangle is the heart of our heartland, and like all hearts, it must be meticulously maintained with every sinew of roadwork. We are well aware of this even before the war, and the upshoot of Chinese bureaucracy is that when it works, it works to a considerable degree. A massive effort to consolidate the links between Gansu Longzhu and the rest of the region has been mostly successful by some miracle, but now new heartlands are capable of being exploited, and we must link the rail line to them too. With them being, with them will come the lifeblood and dollars of the Chinese people, and God only knows if the railway, in all its grandeur, can hold it at all. I love infrastructure, but that pact, well, it's looking pretty nice. It's not big enough, and the Russian public is being very, very violent. I love that we own down here. I love it that we have Siam under us and Vietnam. I really am disappointed that we can't go to war with these guys. That is so sad. How? I mean, there's got to be an option, a way for us to go to war with them. That doesn't make any sense why we would not. Like, if they say no, we have enough power and influence over them that we should be able to say, join us or go bye-bye. Hey, for China. China invades Laos. It seems like no one is doing anything here. The allies, the allies, the Toronto Accord, all they seem to want to care about is defeating fascism in Europe, which is cool and all. But at the same time, oh, we can order convoys. What better way to cheap and quick boost our military situation than to buy foreign arms? Uh, we seek Japanese tanks. Okay, maybe we'll try that. Let's try that. I, we don't care much for Japan, but... Oh, I told him not to go. Whoops, my bad. 
Uh, and there you go. Oh, we need to call you in. That makes sense. Call to arms. Oh, demand to call them in. That's what so be it. Alright, they should all be in. And Japan refuses the deal. They've denied a request to purchase armaments. Oh, gosh darn you, Japan. Gosh darn you. Alright, so we cut out the south from the north. And... Yeah, they're not going to be doing very well. Wow, that's so. I, I feel I feel I feel bad for the Laotian people, Laotian Laos people. Oh, that is so sad. Can you install a uh, dictatorship here, please? <laughs> oh, that's so sad. How's uh? You guys can just probably take the capital. There's not too much in terms of resistance against you. And oh, come on, get some more. Oh, that is so sad. Three to six battalions. Oh, thank you, Lao People's Democratic Republic. Now you're going to even be more democratic. Now that we have you under us. And next up, we can liberate Macau. We might just do that. Yeah, at this point, we might be strong enough to do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want you guys to do it, though. We got six army XP. What shall we do with it? Six army XP. That's not bad. Yeah, I want to edit these guys a little bit more. Sixteen combo with just is not going to cut it for me. I don't mind if we're lacking a little bit here as well. Let's see, it'll be five. This is two combat width, two combat width. So we need six, four. That's usually what's recommended. Fate of Laos, the territory of Laos has been seized by forces in the Laotian government of their throne. What should we do with this country? I'd like to do that, but ooh, remove Indo-Chinese guerrillas. Growth about principles. Cult of Chiang. Outgoing land reforms. Widespread poverty, harsh inflation. Uh, we don't have that, but uh, I don't want to have Indo-Chinese guerrillas, so... They'll be best under us. So, Nanjing, Beijing Highway. Jewels in the Western tradition have never stand alone. They must be connected by glistening semi-jewels to each other and to the jewelry they adorn. So too it is with the cities of China, the jewels of the Republic. They are far more potent and pre precious when merged. Beijing and Nanjing are examples of this, standing as the northern and central jewels of the eastern coast. And the commercial value of a highway connecting them both is undeniable. All that remains is to build it and to get the clearing from the municipal authorities of both. Thankfully, however, the transport ministry has received express clearance to accelerate this project to workable time frames. We are not a failed state, and we do not need to get involved if in petty domestic squabbles over a strip of tar. I love infrastructure. Hopefully all this stuff will make us have or get better, better, and out of a gearing economy. Hopefully we can eventually go to semi-industrialized economy. That'd be much better, is it? Minus 5% consumer goods factories. By the same time, you actually get penalized for civilian factory and military factory construction speed. And even more so with a highly industrialized one. Okay, interesting, interesting. Go ahead and build up in 70%. That's not bad. Anything else around here? 50, 50, 40, uh, 50%. We're, we're definitely industrializing, which is nice, but... Hmm. 30% up there. That's a pretty hard area to bomb. I'll go right there, though. Military construction, do two at a time, because we can. Military construction, too? Why not? But at the same time, keep you in the middle. Sheet metal receivers? Great. Uh, muzzle brakes? Why not? We gotta make sure that at least the gun wise will be doing okay. And Laos is led by who? The Kingdom of Laos. Sisavang Vatana. Vatana. Thatana. Oh. Political correctness, entrenched politics, structured bureaucracy, reform military system, heavily heavy plated, great power designs. Not bad, not bad. But now what? Liberate Macau? We might as well, right? Because now this. That's looking not bad. You know what? Let me know in the comments below. If I can, I might be able to use console commands to go to war with these guys, which we might. If I can do that, we'll do that in the next episode. If you guys agree that we should go to war with Cambodia, if possible, I think that'd be for the best. Because right now, the Nanjing Pact, it's looking kind of mighty mighty. I, I I like the way it looks. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Mm. Oh, they're guaranteed by the US, huh? We're starting to run out of people to go, potentially go to war with. If that's the case, I'm going to throw you guys right here. Socialist Republic of Bengal. Oh, I want to go to war with India. Please. Oh, who is this? Oh! The Kingdom of Sikkim, so we don't actually have a border with them. Interesting. Can I go to war with these guys? Oh, oh man, you look like an egg. Or potato. He looks like a potato. Hari Singh. Well, hello, Hari. I'm sorry, he does look like a potato, so... 
Cool. And let everyone train if they need to, because training is always good. Beneficial, beneficial. Oh, do you have an upgrade, sir? Not really. Not really too much. We're, doing, we're definitely doing better on technology, though, which I, which I really like. At this point, we might as well liberate Macau and see what happens. Hopefully things don't go poorly. Uh, is Macau or Portugal in the Toronto Accords? They are. I'm a little apprehensive to do so. Because if America gets involved, they can probably wallop us pretty darn harshly. Hmm. I wish we had more things we could do here. And every front. We're doing pretty okay. I just wish we could manually go to war with other people. It's so sad that we can't. We're China. We should be able to do whatever we want, right? How's actually how's the industry coming along? Because we're actually making a lot of stuff here. You gotta make more of this too, though. Go to two. We need so much support equipment and artillery. Once we get that, though, I think we'll be doing pretty darn well. Oh, oh good. We got another one done. Nice. We'll get another one done very soon as well. Good, good, good. Vietnam looking like a great place to be right now. Thailand looking like, like a pretty good place. Actually, how strong is Thailand? Ah, the highway is done, my friends. The highway is done. Time for invest in heavy industry. So as the labor force mobilizes and our factories fail, we now face the next barrier for economic development, our primitive technological status. In many of our cities, we are not even capable of producing it at the same speed as that of the American factories of the 1910s. And even this is hampered by structural corruption and poor resource management. Massive purchases of all manner of complex machinery from Western firms and throughout shadow agencies in Asia will push our production lines into the future. Our deficits will suffer. Our deficits will suffer. But that is a price of progress. In any case, with a barely functioning economy or industry, we have no need of high-value currency. Oh, boy. So right now, our GDP is actually above Germany and the Great Britain, and the Great Britain, Great Britain, or the United Kingdom, as well as Malaysia and Free France. Is that Free France? It's a Free French Republic. Oh, it looks like they might have given up all of this area when they went back to the mainland. America is still very high on the list. What is Germany up to? They've been very, very quiet lately. And led by Milky, Milky, Mr. Milky. Oh, German Strasser, Teutonic Lent. Are they going on a crusade? Ooh, chairman for life. National rebirth. The new spirit. Oh, oh. This looks like a lot of fun. But they went with Milk Boy here. Prepare the mock trials. Form the emergency meeting. Ooh, Marxist Leninism. Expel werewolves from the government. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Emergency planning. Armed by industrialists. Enemies of the people. Ooh. Ministry for Anti-Fascism. Re-establish Antifa. Okay, then. Unofficial Collaborators. Emergency Surveillance Act. Silver Kutl Kugel Tog. Is that Silver Ball Day? Uh, it's Kugel. It's a Kugel. I forgot what Kugel is. Silver, Silver. Days Tog. Permanent State of Emergency. It changes the government type. Oh. What's that? The first meeting. Oh, the first Congress. Cool. That looks like a lot of fun. It actually does. But we shall end this episode maybe going toward Macau. Actually, yeah, we can close that. We don't ever have to see that again. Mm. You know what? Let us end the episode by doing that and seeing what happens. Let us liberate Macau and see what happens. And then we'll call it an episode. Hopefully nothing bad happens or results. Going to stop training for now. That is fine with me. Plenty of anti-tank artillery. Not bad. Well, Portugal, what's your choice? You want to get ran over by horses and tanks? Yes, no? Oh, the agreement! Okay! Intimidated by our sponsored thugs and revolutionaries, the Portuguese government gave Macau the authority to negotiate an agreement between China and Portugal. As a gesture of kindness, we have offered the Portuguese great leniency in Macau, allowing their businesses and assets to safely flow out of the city. Regardless of Macau's usefulness, the area that we was ceded 100 years ago is now back under its rightful control as part of the Unified China Program. Wise decision! Awesome, my friends. That is beautiful. But unfortunately, that is where we're going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know if I should go to war with Cambodia, if I can, potentially or not. And I will see you tomorrow as we shall expand our influence across Asia, hopefully. Thanks for watching and have a great, great rest of your day.